knows what you can handle. He knows, he knows, you know, he knows what you can handle. He knows what you can take. God knows what, what your capabilities are. He knows what you can handle and then make, make, make you know, you know, in making sure that you don't, you know, you don't break while you're handling what you can handle. He knows uh, uh, that will be done. In other words, uh, whatever the enemy is plotting against you, uh, if it's not allowed in his will, it can stand. Praise God. Uh, that will be done. Understanding the working of God's will will, you know, will stop, you know, you from competition. Understanding, understanding, you know, the, the, the working of God's will, uh, it will stop you from jealousy. Praise God. Uh, that will be done. Glory to God. And then he said, give us this day our daily bread. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Give us this day our daily bread. Uh, this speaks of God's provision. Give us this day our daily bread. Uh, uh, before the word giving can be applicable, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you must be able to submit to God uh, that God, uh, I know you have this thing in stock. I am in need of it. Lord, please make the provision. Praise God. Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, it also, it, it, you know, it also suggests uh, that you know that your supply comes from God, not from man. Anytime you run after man, you know, they will just make a mess of you. They'll make a mess of you. But your supplies, you know, comes from God. It comes from God. But God is going to use a man. But God will do it in a dignified way. Whereby God can speak to that man. You know, and then the man is not looking for you with what you need. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You don't have to go begging. No. Thank you, Jesus. Say, give us this day our daily bread. It teaches us not to be selfish because it, said, it didn't say give me, it said give us. Give us this day. You know, if you if if you are if you are indeed connected to our Father. And understand the brotherhood relationship that we share in Christ Jesus. You will not, hand, you know, you will not hold back when your brother is in need, and you know that what he needs, you can afford it. You will not hold back when your sister is in need, when you understand that what she needs, I can afford it. You know, some people, you know, you know, you tell them that you tell them your need, they can afford it. Time ten, they say, "Don't worry, I'll be praying for you." You know, that is not, you know. How to exhibit our brothers in Christ. Praise God. Sometimes God will give you some stuff which is not just for you, but it's for us. Sometimes God could just put some kind of huge money in somebody's hands here now. Huge. But if you don't understand the purpose and why God has given that to you and who you are in him, you will leave church. And then you're not going to be doing big boy. <laughs> Praise God. Now the lives you're supposed to touch with what God has given you, which you know you can't finish. <laughs> God have mercy. Yeah. You know? If you are good in business, and then you see your sister struggling in business, teach her how to do business. If you are good in marketing, you know, and you see your brother struggling, then teach him how to do marketing. If your marriage is sound and is good, and you see your sister struggling in her marriage, call her to a corner. Teach her how to, you know, how to keep her marriage. That's what the Bible is teaching us here. Uh, if your sister is struggling in whatever area of her life, and you can see that in that area of her struggle, you are strong, then Teach her how to survive in that aspect of life. Give us this day our daily bread. It means don't approach today with yesterday's bread. Don't approach today with yesterday's, with yesterday's wisdom. Don't approach today with yesterday's power. Don't approach today with yesterday's supply. Oh, shut up. Give us this day. Anytime when I'm praying, when I'm, when I'm praying, I say, when, when, before I finish that prayer, I always say, God, everything you have made available to me today, I receive them. I usher them to my direction. I collect everything that you have made available to me. Why? Because God is in the business of bringing daily provisions. Mm 